Lionfish, originally from the Indo-Pacific region, are currently uninvited guests in the Caribbean Sea. According to the Jamaica Information Service, JIS, lionfish are believed to have entered our waters after being released or escaping from their protected environment after a natural disaster in 1992 from the United States of America. By 2006, experts say lionfish could be found on almost all coral reefs in Jamaica. These fish are at the top of their food chain in the Caribbean waters without having any natural predators. They hunt fish swallowing them whole like vacuums and have venomous spines along their backs which is a perfect anatomical defense for this marine animal. This however made their population grow out of control and significantly affecting negatively the population of other marine life like shrimp, crab and other fish which are their natural prey. Since 2014, the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, reported a 66 reduction in the lionfish population in Jamaica, which was mostly because of certain environmental agencies asking Jamaicans to eat more lionfish. If we do this, best believe we will keep their numbers down. Of late, my go-to fisherman is Dave. You can find him in Cockburn Pen. There's his number. Write it down. His prices are relatively competitive. All his seafood are fresh. When he receives them, he freezes them. So it guarantees the freshness that you'll receive as the buyer. I have bought lobster, shrimp, crayfish, regular fish, and sea crabs from him. Everything is frozen except the sea crabs. The sea crabs are received live. They're cleaned on the location. You usually can choose the types that you want, or if you don't, there's someone there that will handle the crabs for you and weigh them up. Well, no, they're sold per dozen. So the cost that you see is per dozen crabs. And it, to me, is relatively affordable. Everybody that I to say tastes good, so. Although their fins are venomous, no need to worry. The fishermen remove them for you before consumption, so they're safe enough to eat. And trust me, the meat is so good. Guts as the other fish there. Okay. Oh. Can you not So those are the things that they remove from my fish. So 
So when he, when the man had cleaned it for me, he had mentioned some individuals say that the head of the lionfish doesn't have much meat in there. I can tell you off the bat that the head of the lionfish feels much different from a regular fish. It is as tough as a rock by its lower jaw. But he says once you cook it, it should soften up. And although it is tough on the outside here, on the inside it is quite soft. And when he was cleaning it, there wasn't a lot of innards in there. But it's a really beautiful fish. Wash my fish. I already scaled it, I don't feel any scales on it. Oh, they have very fine scales. Very, very fine. When he was cleaning them, I didn't see much come off it. So this is my version of steamed fish and fried fish. I'm going to use vegetable oil for the fried fish and a small amount of butter for my steamed fish. I prefer butter than margarine. Margarine in my estimation, although it is plant-based, I feel as if it's a little bit more unhealthy. For something that is solid at room temperature, it's safe to assume that after you consume it, after you consume it, it's stay solid in your blood vessels so after the oil and the butter has heated up we add our aromatics our scallion garlic scotch bonnet pepper um onions We allow them to sweat a little in the heated oil 
we stir them around so the onions and the garlic and this um, scotch bonnet pepper can release its flavor into the oil so when we cook the fish in it it helps to absorb all of those wonderful flavors we only fry the fish only when the oil is extremely hot because we do not want the fish to stick to the bottom of the pot after the aromatics have already released enough of its flavor i usually add the water that is left in the seasoning dish with the fish to the pot and um, because it is already has it's already seasoned so i rather not add unnecessary salt that i don't need to so i just utilize what i already have in the seasoning dish i add the fish as you see i cover it because the whole point of steaming is that we use the steam that the fish and the aromatics produce to cook the fish Cook the fish for 5 minutes on each side. For steamed fish, generally in Jamaica, we add okra to ours. So for the second half of the cooking, which is the last 5 minutes, you cut up your, your okra and you add it to your steamed fish and you steam it down and it's good to go. Did you know, did you know, lionfish can produce 10,000 to 30,000 eggs every 4 days throughout the entire year. That's why we need to keep their numbers down so they no longer decimate the numbers of our beloved parrots and snapper fish. Continue to watch, like and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to produce. Also, please check the link down below my GoFundMe page to help me to open my own pharmacy. Thank you.